Hello everyone, Kimmy is back and I am recording, 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 recording. Yes, we're back to the desk, but unfortunately the way I had set it up, I felt spirit didn't want me here, so I had to make some adjustments. The desk will be leaving when I move to the new place, as will the bar stools, so they will all be gone. All right, so this is going to be a general reading for anyone it resonates with for Friday. I am doing by element for the weekend, and I am I have also started doing um, the zodiac signs as well. Ooh, communication! And later this evening, I will be recording those the energy readings, like the one I did for the water signs this weekend. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. I will be doing Earth first. Eight of Wands. This is the arrows of love, Cupid's arrows. Arrows of love, Cupid's arrows. Communication that brings balance to all areas of your life. And it's spirit approved. Look at, look at the rays of light coming down. There's a pathway there. It may have taken you a while to find your way. Strong spirit chills, strong spirit chills. Oh my goodness. 10 of swords. Strong spirit chills still. Spirit chills. Oh my goodness. No wonder. All right. Wheel of Fortune. The Empress. This is all surrounding some sort of communication. Some sort of communication on Friday. Now keep in mind that obviously the energy can extend a few days beyond and um, a few days at any time when you are drawn to this video. It could be a few days after that time as well. Now this is known as the, as the arrows of love, <laughs> Cupid's arrows. So it's going to be very loving communication. Somebody's going after a wish, a dream, a desire, a hope. It appears to be with regards to somebody that they love. They want to communicate with somebody that they love. They want to see somebody that they love. They want to, um, I'm getting, they want to hold this person. They want to hold this person. It's like all they want to do is hold this person in their arms and not let go. So there's a strong sense that somebody is going to be moving towards a love interest. And it's gonna be extremely surprising for whomever is receiving this communication. It's like they're not going to be expecting this person to proclaim, well, it, it appears they're gonna be proclaiming their love for you, whomever this is for. And so it's gonna be very surprising to the person receiving it. They're wanting a brand new cycle. They're wanting a brand new cycle with the Empress. It's a new cycle. The Empress is also about you know newness and abundance with regards to love as well. So. They may be wanting to renew a connection and bring love back into this connection between the two of you. So this person may have taken you for granted in the past because sometimes this card can be about, you know, being careful not to take somebody for granted. And But there's this sense of togetherness and there's this sense of this expression of their individual, of the individuality here as well as this, you know, desire to move forwards towards something peaceful, harmonious, and loving. Now, in the past, this person or you went through a great deal of mental anguish about this connection, a great deal of mental anguish in their life. The Ten of Swords is, is things happening on all sides, feeling like you're attacked by everything, having gone through difficult trials and not been able to see the hope over the horizon. It's real difficult energy here. But the Ten of Swords is also about releasing that mental energy. Getting clear with this Queen of, Queen of Swords energy, getting clear about what they really want, getting clear about how to obtain it, getting clear on how to move forward. So it looks absolutely positively lovely. I am going to take a couple Romance Angels and let's see what we get. I definitely see love here. Love, 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 love. Try it, please. What do you have for us for Friday? For the collective regarding the spread. Oops, see, I told you somebody did not, somebody's not going to be expecting this. 
the beauty of this, this is not somebody trying to be deceiving or thieving or cheating. What this particular, uh, what this particular card means, it says someone was wearing, is wearing a false mask in this relationship. But see how spirit's taking the mask off? Spirit has made it very clear to this person they cannot hide their feelings anymore. They have to come forward and express how they're feeling. They have to let the mask come down. They have to remove the mask and express that they love this person. It's time for them to, to allow their love to show. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Whomever, if somebody's waiting on this, make sure you take care of you, make sure you love you. Um, you know, you hear me say this all the time, happiness has to come from you. Love, ha your first love needs to be yourself. Because if it isn't, you're not gonna be able to love this person. Ooh, somebody has to release an ex. Release, release, release. I don't know why I'm still shuffling. I just feel like there's another message. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. All right. You got to live in the moment. Now I'm going to do something a little weird today for Friday. We're going to play some trivia. If you don't want to play some trivia, go ahead. You know, head on out now. It's perfectly okay. I will not hold it against you. I just have these really cool trivia cards. And I thought, why not? So our first, our first, our first card is which bug was the world anticipating in 1999? Come on, trivia buffs. The potential answers are the MP3 bug, the AK-47 bug, the Y2K bug, or the CP3O bug. Which bug was the world anticipating in 1999? Do, 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 All right, the Y2K bug. And we will take two more and that will be our trivia for Friday. How, oh, of course we would get, we would, have to pick one that has to do <laughs> with some sort of sickness. What was the common name of the bubonic plague? Of course, we have the black death, the rat death, the swine flu, or the bird flu. All right, and the answer is the black death. Do we have any smarty pants out there that got both of these right? <laughs> All right. What was the name of the person employed in English olden times to tell people the news? Hear ye, hear ye. That would be either the blacksmith, the town crier, the gossiper, or the archer. Hear ye, hear ye. All right, are we ready? It was the town crier. All right, everybody. That was our trivia for today. If you didn't like it, doesn't matter. It's my channel. We're doing trivia. I miss trivia. We can't get out because of <laughs> a lot of people can't get out because of coronavirus. They're quarantining themselves. So we are going to play some trivia for a while. So if you don't like it, you can bow out. All right, my dears. Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you do for me, for your wonderful support. I truly appreciate it. Uh, I hope that you have a beautiful day. If any of those um, reduced prices are of interest to you, please do see my website. I will not be able to include the shamanic services with the readings, however, at that price. So just so that you are aware. All right, my dears, have a beautiful day. I'll see you again soon.